Now this question then, we're asked to find the inverse function of x. And we're given that f of x equals e to the 2x plus 3, where x is any real number. And we're also asked to find the domain of this function. Well, first of all, if we're trying to find what this equals, what I would suggest you do is we let x equal f of x. So we just say let x equal the f of x. And wherever you see an x in your function here, replace it with a y. So we get e to the 2y plus 3. And now what we've got to do is rearrange this to make y the subject. So the first thing we need to do is take away 3 from both sides. So that gives us e to the 2y equals x minus 3. So we'll just write that down as e to the 2y equals x minus 3. Now because our y here is a power, we need to take natural logs to both sides. So we have the natural log of e to the 2y equals the natural log of all of x minus 3. Now, 2y, we can bring out the front of this natural log, and we get 2y natural log of e. And natural log of e is 1, so we're just left with 2y. So 2y equals the natural log of x minus 3. So I'll just put that down like so. And we need to now just divide both sides by 2, and we end up with y equals a half the natural log of x minus 3. All we do now is just simply replace the y with the inverse function. So therefore we have the inverse function of x is equal to a half times the natural log of x minus 3. So there we've got the inverse function. What we need to do now is just find the domain. Now to do this you should basically remember that when you've got functions, okay, from a graphical point of view, the domain of one function, in this case the domain of the inverse function, is exactly the same as the range of the original function, the range in this case of f of x. So what I would suggest you do is just draw this graph. Think about this graph. And to do this, what does an e to the x graph look like? Well, you should know that an e to the x graph looks something like this. Okay, It doesn't touch the x-axis, but comes up through here, goes through the 1, and comes up like this. Now, e to the 2x, all that's going to do is just simply squash the graph in it's going to squash the graph in closer to the y-axis, so it's still basically going to have much the same shape. And then you're going to add 3, and that will make the graph, like this, go up 3 units. So we have what's called an asymptote through here, and the graph is then going to look something like this. Okay, The graph of e to the 2x plus 3. Okay, or I should have that plus 3 actually down there. All right. And what is the range? Well, we know that this point here is a 3, okay, because it took the graph up 3 units, okay, from the x-axis. So the range is anything greater than 3. So this corresponds to the domain of this function. And why that's so is because you should remember that any function is related to its inverse as a reflection in the line y equals x. So essentially whatever we have as the range here becomes the domain of the function like so. Okay? So I hope you can follow that anyway. Okay? Domain is going to be that f to the minus 1 of x has its x values greater than 3. Okay? So that brings us now to the end of this particular part of the question.